<clears throat> it is a Tuesday, January 27th, and we welcome you to Midland High. It is time for Saginaw Valley League North Basketball as the H.H. Dow High Chargers make the trip to take on the Midland High Chemex Girls Basketball here on MPS TV. Two teams battling for second place in the Saginaw Valley, a game behind Saginaw Heritage, the Chargers and the Chemex getting ready to do battle. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper, and Tom, tonight we've got a matchup of two teams that match up just perfectly in what should be a very exciting basketball contest. This is a game that uh, both teams have been looking forward to for a long time. These girls know each other. There's a lot of sophomores on both teams. Dow may have a little more of an advantage having the senior presence, but uh, both teams can really move the ball, and they both can score. Yeah, and both of these teams, you know, relatively on the young side, you take a look at the Midland High Chemex. The Chemex coming in with a record of 9-2. and two. They are 7-1 and one in the Saginaw Valley. This is a Chemex team with only one senior on it. And she comes off the bench, so they've got uh, a uh, starting lineup of all sophomores and one freshman. On the other side, the Dow High Chargers, and they're visiting Green Dow High, 8-2 and two on the season. They are 6-1 and one in the Saginaw Valley, and this is a, a Charger team that has a few more seniors, but it's still a relatively young team. Yeah, and uh, they're going to rely on both uh, Emily Lyman and Jenna Query both being seniors, but uh, an awful lot of points are scored by underclassmen. The Midland High Chemics coming in under head coach uh, Elaine Mahabir, veteran coach over 10 years here at Midland High. The Dow High Chargers, a new face roaming the sidelines at the varsity level, but JV coach Kyle Tyson is now up as the varsity coach in his first year coaching the Dow High girls. There's a good look at the Midland High Chemics as they prepare for this contest. This is a Midland High team that is very relaxed, very loose. They like to have fun. And they know each other so well. Uh, they, they played a lot of basketball, not only within schools, but they've traveled on the road a lot, as, as had Dow. We are set to go with high school basketball here on MPS TV. Right now, let's turn things over to our public address announcer, Jeff Yoder.
The starting lineups that we are set to go with high school basketball. It's a Saginaw Valley girls battle here between the Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Chemics. A quick look recapping our starting lineups. The Midland High Chemics with Sadie DeWilt, Alex Van Sumeren, Skyler Howard, Jaden Williams, and Madison Berry as the five starters. Four sophomores and one freshman starting for the Midland High Chemics. For the Dow High Chargers, Ellie Taylor, Emily Lyman, Asia Blayton, Kaylee Wasco, and Jenna Query are the five starting for the uh, Dow High Chargers. Two seniors, everybody else, underclassmen. Kimmick from the home white, Dow High in the visiting green, and here we go, high school basketball on MPS TV. This should be a great one. And the tip-off is going to be controlled by the Dow High Chargers. Emily Lehman, she's a senior, working the ball to start this contest for Dow High. Lehman working it over to the top of the key. They work inside. Ellie Taylor now works it back out over to Blayton, and Blayton tries to go off the board. Contested shot is no good. The Midland High Kimmicks will come back the other direction. Three-pointer by Van Sumeren. The shot is no good, and Blayton pulling down the rebound. Asia Blayton is a sophomore. Ellie Taylor, three-pointer. That shot is no good. Rebound put back by Kaylee Wasco, the sophomore for the Dow High Chargers. And both coaches telling us before the game, Tom, that rebounding is going to be very important in tonight's contest. It really is, and I think that Dow having a little more size is going to have uh, some decided advantage. Loose ball and a nice battle there. Coming up with it is Skyler Howard in the putback. Goes in for the Midland High Kimmick. Skyler Howard, a transfer, played at Gladwin last year. Now she's a Kimmick. Asia with a nice pass. Wasco unable to hold on to the handle. Works it back out for a wide open three. That shot is no good. Loose ball. Jaden Williams will come down with it. The outlet pass and Van Sumer and unable to hold on to it. Williams now in the paint. And we've got a whistle and a foul. The first foul of the contest couple of new players, a couple of transfer. We mentioned Skyler Howard, new to Midland High this year, and Asia Blayton is new to Dow High. Yeah, well, a Asia is not new to the Saginaw Valley. Uh, she played a lot at Flint uh, Carmen Ainsworth a year ago, but she's back in Midland where she spent her uh, junior high years. Sadie D. Welt with the ball for the Kimmicks over to Jaden Williams, works to Van Sumeren, now back up to the top of the key of the Midland High Chemics. DeWeld going through two Charger defenders. Nice read as Sadie DeWeld is able to lay it in. And this is something new for, uh, for Midland. Uh, right out of the gun, the, the full court press. Madison Berry with the, with the layup attempt and a nice job by Emily Lyman coming up with the steal. But then Lyman ended up stepping out of bounds, so the turnover will give the ball back to the Kimmicks. Now, we've seen Midland press, but it's been more to the beginning of the game. Uh, this is quite unique, seeing them uh, press right away. Three-pointer. The shot is no good. Battle on the loose ball, won by the Chargers, but the long outlet pass, ill-advised, ends up in the hands of Sadie DeWilt. Now working back out to Van Sumeren. Three-pointer is no good, and a rebound foul defensively going to be called against the Midland High Chemex. If Van Sumeren can get hot from three-point range, the Midland High Chemex will have a big advantage, but she is 0 for 2 in the first minute and eight seconds of this contest. Well, on her counterpart, Ellie Taylor, the three-point specialist, is 0 for 2, so they neither team has found their range yet. A new player into the game is Alexi Flaminio. She's a junior working on the far side for the Dow High Chargers. Chargers end up empty-handed. The Midland High Kimmicks come back in the other direction. Jaden Williams into the paint, but she traveled. Williams shuffling her feet before she began the drive. 90 seconds into 
this Saginaw Valley contest, Kimmich leading 4-2. to two. Great MPS and MCTV crew bringing you this contest here tonight. Chargers working the ball around. Ellie Taylor goes back out to Flaminio. Flaminio cross to Lyman. Lyman is a senior. Now a three-point shot taken by Wasco. That is no good. Rebound by the Kimmich. Sadie D. Welt looking to go coast to coast. Split for the defense but can't get the bucket to go. Chargers now with a advantage on numbers. Works ahead to Query. Query unable to get the shot. Taylor with the rebound. The putback is no good. Rebound pulled down by Howard for the Kimmich. Well, the Kimmichs are really scrapping underneath the Dow boards. They're not giving Dow a whole lot of second chances. And neither team lighting up the scoreboard here in the first quarter. Both teams missing some shots that they normally would make. Driving in and rejected underneath. Kaylee Wasco, the sophomore, comes up with the block for the Chargers. Four and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Now Jaden Williams pulls up for a jump shot that is no good. Rebound by the Chargers and a reach-in foul by the Kimmicks. It looks like we've got some retro basketball uniforms down there in the corner. I think the equipment room has been robbed from 1978, I think. The uh, Dow High student <laughs> section dressing up for the contest tonight. Very cool, very cool. Nice touch. Dow High on the far side, working to Wasco, and a nice pass inside. Jenna Query, the senior, able to lay it in to tie this game up 4-4 four to four halfway through the first quarter. Williams inside to Howard. Howard being guarded in another block. Wasco with two blocks here in the first quarter, using her size to her advantage. Emily Lyman. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Skyler Howard. Howard has worked the boards well here in the first quarter of this game. Jaden Williams, she traveled again. That's the second time that Williams has shuffled her feet before beginning the drive. Well, it looks like she's just not getting the ball down early enough. She's taken that long, quick stride, and that's not legal. you got to get the ball down just a tad quicker. Emily Lyman goes across midcourt for the Chargers. Lexi Flaminio, three-pointer, no good. Skyler Howard, another rebound for the Kimmicks. Across midcourt, working on the baseline. Maddie Berry lost the ball briefly, but we're going to have, uh, actually she stepped out of bounds. So Berry with a turnover, and the Kimmicks have had a couple of turnovers here in the first quarter. Well, we're noticing that neither team wants to really work the clock. Uh, we're seeing a lot of threes going up pretty early in the possessions. Kay Kaylee Wasco working the ball now to Lyman. Lyman works it back to Wasco. Wasco having the ball stripped but recovered by the Chargers. Flaminio's shot is no good. Rebound by Jaden Williams. But right back there, Wasco able to get her hands on the ball. The jump ball being called. Kaylee Wasco looking pretty good early on in this contest. She is really a force inside. She's going to change an awful lot of shots that Midland wants to take inside. She's had some blocks, uh, and some girls have just backed away and tried to hit somebody on the, on the perimeter rather than try to challenge her. She's a 6'2 sophomore, played some last year for the Dow High Chargers, still adjusting to the physical play of the Saginaw Valley, but not having any trouble here in the first quarter. She looks a lot more confident and looks a little stronger than she did last year. In and out, the shot by Skyler Howard is no good, so the Chargers come back the other direction, and a foul will send Ellie Taylor to the free throw line. Now the foul came from behind the play. I'm not sure who that was. Was that I, Williams? I believe it was Williams. And that'll be two on her. So Jaden Williams is going to head to the bench momentarily as Ellie Taylor Goes on to the free throw line, and Taylor able to hit the first free throw. Taylor coming off a big game against Bay City Western. 16 points the last time the Chargers were on the floor. And they rely on her to, uh, to just play smart, pass the ball inside, and take that deadly long outside shot. Taylor making both of her free throws. 
The Dow High Chargers leading 6-4 over the Midland High Chemics. 2.20 to go here in the first quarter. Three-pointer, count it. Off the bench with authority. Abby Frazier, the junior, comes in and gets the job done to give the Chemics the lead. And then Frazier coming up with a steal. Howard pulling up for the jump shot. No good. Loose ball. Chargers with numbers. Working down the court. Lyman gives it over to Taylor. And Taylor is going to be f- fouled if she attempted a three-point shot. So Ellie Taylor is going to have three free throws for the Chargers. Both teams are not shy. They've been putting up uh, kind of an equal number of three-point shots early in this game, and not a whole lot's dropped for them. Frazier's the only one who's actually hit a three-pointer right off the bench. First free throw is no good. A lot of basketball played in the uh, Taylor household. Her father, Bob, a former coach at Northwood, heavily involved in the youth basketball development program, and... Ellie's mother, Kristen, played college basketball. A lot of basketball. And Ellie's mother coached at Midland High when she was pregnant for Ellie. Little interesting side note. Dow High regaining the lead thanks to the free throws. 8-7 to seven in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Midland High working the ball. Van Sumeren. Contested shot is no good. Battle for the rebound. Taylor will bring it down. Outlet over to Blayton, and Blayton will be fouled, and she will go to the free throw line, and the Kimmicks getting into some early foul trouble. We'll see if the Dow High Chargers can take advantage. Yeah, in a game like this, you don't want to get into the one-and-one one too soon, and uh, right now the Kimmicks have committed five fouls early in this uh, or the middle of part of this first quarter. We mentioned Asia Blayton played at Carmen Ainsworth a year ago. Brings a little inside presence to Kyle Tyson's lineup. And the second free throw is good. Three-point Charger lead. Just over 90 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Midland High working the ball around the end. Working to Sadie DeWilt. DeWilt. Thought about driving in, now works out. Frazier able to recover, tries to go inside, does so, but Barry works it back out. Three-pointer, Frazier, that shot is short. Rebound by DeWilt. That shot goes around the bucket but doesn't fall in, and Asia able to get the rebound for the Chargers, and wide open, Flaminio with her first bucket of the game, and Elaine Mahabier wants a timeout as Alexi Flaminio scores a little bit too easy for Mahabier's liking. Well, so far, I think we've found that uh, Midland has been getting some shots. Uh, this, they've not had a lot fall. I think they're, they're just kind of talking about uh, looking to pass the ball uh, to get a little bit better shot. Also on defense, they've got to get back. They've really got to get back. Dow High is starting to really shred them on the transition game. 106 to go here in the first quarter. Let's take a look. You mentioned the getting back on defense. Take a look at that pass. Nobody there making it way too easy for Flaminio. All right, we got uh, Midlands down by five at this point. Uh, they've got to really look for a, a good quality shot. Uh, Dow High, uh, you don't want to give them too much confidence uh, on the away court. Howard losing the handle on the ball, but the Kimmicks able to recover. Three-point shot, a little bit too hard by DeWilt. Howard with a nice rebound, fights it back, gives it back to Van Sumeren, and the three-pointer from the sophomore, Alex Van Sumeren, breaking her a three-point streak where she hadn't scored, making this a two-point game, 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Well, Midland needs her to get really hot here. Uh, it's going to make uh, things a lot easier inside. She's hitting the shots from the outside. Stepping out of bounds was uh, Nadia Atten. She's a sophomore. Nadia. Uh, yes. Uh, Nadia. I'm, I knew I, I knew I'd say that that name wrong. But she's a player yeah. that comes off the bench for the Dow High Chargers. And she's an exciting player. I remember seeing her play at the middle school. And, uh, boy, she could jump. I mean, uh, great player inside. Kimmick's working around to the far side. And 
A foul is going to be called on Wasco. And that will be only the second foul called on the Dow High Chargers. Actually, it's going to be the second foul on Wasco, the second foul on the okay. Chargers as well. So a little bit of foul troubles. The final seconds come down here in the first quarter. I'll count if it goes, but Howard shot unable to fall in. And the first quarter comes to an end with the Dow High Chargers on top of the Midland High Chemics by a score of 12 to 10. And you are watching high school basketball here on MPS TV, channel 190 on Charter Communications, also available on AT&T's U-verse by going to channel 99. If you're just tuning in and you want to check out this game in its entirety on Thursday and Friday, January 29th and 30th, Showtime's 8 o'clock in the evening and 10 o'clock in the evening. And then uh, and for more dates and times, be sure to check out MidlandNPS.org for the showtimes. The boys at 8 o'clock, the girls at 10 o'clock is the uh, show schedule here on MPS TV. So if you're tuning in and you missed the boys' action from earlier, you can watch it the next night at 8 o'clock. Well, let's take a look at what uh, adjustments are going to be made here in the second quarter. The Dow High Chargers will start with the basketball. Ahead by two. Emily Lyman works the ball across for the Chargers. Now Nadia Etten goes inside to Asia Bletton, and Bletton gets her first basket of the game. She's in the book. Asia, who's played very well defensively and setting up the screens, now in the score column, giving the Chargers a four-point lead. With Wasco on the bench, uh, Blanton is very uh, skilled at playing that center position. Unable to hold on to the handle underneath, and more turnovers than what uh, Elaine Mahabier has wanted to see here in the first quarter. Both teams seem to be a little tight. Maybe the fact that it's a uh, Midland Dow battle in the first one of the year. Well, and I think that uh, you, you can get over that tightness by just playing really, really aggressive defense. Like that, a great steal by Skyler Howard. Pulls up for the jump shot, but can't get it to go. Dow High comes back the other direction. Blatton goes on to the baseline. She can't get the shot to go. Battle for the rebound and a jump ball called. Possession arrow will be with Midland. Just underway here in the second quarter. Dow High 14, Midland High 10. Well, this game takes on a really important complexion just in the fact that the stands are really full of uh, parents and uh, friends. DeWilt off the glass, can't get the shot to go. Kimmick's playing at home, but it's like there's a, a lid on their home basket. That's supposed to happen on the road, not at home. Yeah, they're at home, but uh, Dow's not far away. Chargers, nice move there by Alexi Flaminio. Found her drive on the left-hand side, her second basket of the game, and Flaminio making it a six-point lead, the biggest lead the Chargers have had. Skyler Howard stops, goes up with a shot, and Howard able to get the bucket to fall through. That was a, a great fake that uh, Skyler Howard had that, that drew uh, Atten, and uh, she just waited for Atten to fly by, and Howard just put the ball up and in. Great shot fake. Travel is going to be called against Blatton, and the Chargers bringing in some subs. Ellie Taylor goes back into the game, and Kaylee Wasco is going to enter the game as well, playing with two fouls for the Chargers. Well, I, th I think uh, Co Coach T Tyson has got to have some confidence that she's not going to, to draw the third foul. That would really limit uh, how she can play inside. Dewell drives into the paint, and she will be fouled. I believe it's going to be Flaminio that picks up the foul, and it is. That will send Sadie Dewell to the free throw line. 
Now, the one thing I've noticed about DeWilt as uh, her, her sophomore year has kind of moved along is that I've seen her drive a lot more to the basket, and she's gotten to the free throw line more often. DeWilt, a sophomore this year, but she did start last year as well. Another basketball family, or we saw her brother playing earlier in the boys' game. Jump shot from inside the paint, and that doesn't fall through, but the rebound by Williams. Kimmix keeping the ball alive. Now working around for a long three-pointer. That shot is too hard. Ball is still loose. Everybody fighting for it, and uh, somebody stepped out of bounds. So the Chemex or the Chargers will get the basketball. The Chemex are battling on the boards. They got themselves two or three uh, tries at the basket. They, they got a chance for a three and a couple of inside shots. But again, nothing fell. Five and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Dow High leading by four. Chargers working the ball into the paint. Now back out, Ellie Taylor pulls up her dribble, passes to Jenna Query, Query to Wasco, and the bounce around falls through. Kaylee Wasco getting her second basket of the evening. Back to a six-point Charger lead. Jaden Williams goes into the paint. Nice pass underneath, and Skyler Howard will go to the free throw line. I think that's Query. Wait to find out who it was called on. Kyle Tyson is hoping that it was Query that it was called on, and it, and it was actually Taylor that is going to pick up the foul. Is that right? Okay. Skyler Howard getting the free throw to fall through. Howard coming off a game where she had 13 points against Mount Pleasant. And as we have already seen here in the first half, Howard is one of those players that hustles all the time going after that basketball. And she's got six points and uh, maybe around four rebounds already. And the game's pretty early. Chargers working onto the baseline. Nice defense by Van Sumeren, forcing Dow to work it back around the perimeter. Flaminio hands it off to Ellie Taylor. Taylor, couple of dribbles, switches directions, but picks up the ball. Now to Emily Lyman. Lyman goes over to Query. Query tries to go inside. Ball is loose, and Skyler Howard, Howard will come up with it. Sadie DeWilt now with the ball for Midland. Outlet pass over to Barry, but Barry travels. Well, we have to keep in mind we've got a lot of freshmen and sophomores on the court, and uh, you know this is a big game for them, and they've not had a lot of experience with it, and the nerves just get to where you want to uh, create the play faster than the rules allow you. Dow High goes inside, nice pass. Taylor hooks around, nice hesitation by there, and a good possession for the Dow High Chargers. Taylor's got six points already for the Dow High Chargers. Jaden Williams working the ball, cross court to Van Sumeren. Van Sumeren tries to drive in, she was double teamed, and the Chargers end up with the basketball. Kimmick fans wanted a foul, nothing called. Chargers unable to capitalize on the turnover, now they go inside, and this time Wasco's shot does not fall through. Kimmicks will come back the other dire direction. Howard over to Williams. Williams, no shot, no foul. Loose ball again, and the Chargers come up with it. Taylor, all by herself, trying to find Wasco, who could not find the handle of the basketball. It looked like Wasco tried to catch that with one hand, and uh, at that point, She's going across to the baseline. Just gather the ball and get your offense uh, going. 3.20 to go here in the second quarter. Midland High tried to go inside. Wasco knocked it away. Kimmick's recovering. Three-pointer, Van Sumeren, count it. Uh, Actually, that was no, Barry. That was Barry, you're correct. That's Matt, Maddie Barry. Maddie Barry, she's just a freshman starting for the Midland High Chemex. Barry's first three pointer of the contest. That ball had interesting backward roll on the rim. It's a three point game. Dow High has led the majority of the contest. Picking up the dribble, that time it's Lyman. Ball is loose and on the ground. Everybody fighting for it. Chargers have it, and a jump ball is going to be called. 
Dow High will keep possession. Right now, I think Midland is a lot scrappier. Uh, they're really going for every loose ball currently. And Dow is uh, trying to rely on Wasco inside. Maybe a little too much. Working it back out over to Lyman. And Lyman with a long two-pointer. Couple of steps inside the line. Second basket of the game for Lyman. 2.20 to go here in the second quarter. Midland High works the ball to Jaden Williams. Williams is blocked. Wasco picking up her third block of the game, but the Chemex able to recover. Nice hesitation and a drive inside by Sadie DeWilt, but unable to come away with any points. And now Dow High goes back the other direction. Taylor thought about the three. Now to Lineman. Over to Flaminio. Flaminio inside to Query, but Query throws it away. One thing I've noticed is that Midland High is really trying to drive right at Wasco. I think they want to see Wasco either back off or draw that third foul. That's a good idea. Try to get uh, the biggest defensive threat into foul trouble. It's not a bad plan. Van Sumeren, three-pointer off the mark, and Asia Blayton back into the game comes up with the ball for the Dow High Chargers. Wasco from the free throw line, count it. Kaylee Wasco. Getting the bucket in, she's got six points for the Chargers. Under 90 seconds to play here in the second quarter, and Elaine Mahabier is going to call her second timeout of the contest to try to come up with a game plan with 1.21 to go here in the half. Dow High 24, Midland High 17. You know, I don't think it would be such a bad idea that uh, Coach Tyson as we get into the last minute, uh, they, they pull w Wasco. And I think that Elaine is probably uh, congratulating her kids about really challenging that inside. You know, they're playing with a lo lot of heart. Uh, but right now, the key is for Midland High to, to get Wasco into foul trouble. And let's take a look. Speaking of uh, Wasco. Yeah, she is a really good shooter for, from that mid-range. And that makes her a very, very dangerous player. She's got the eyes of uh, a few people at the next level, does Wasco. Rated in the Detroit Free Press as one of the top 100 players in the state, and she's just a sophomore. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Howard. And Howard's got a half a dozen, I'm sure. Yeah, she's been the Rebounding. lead rebounder for the Midland High Chemex. Jaden Williams forcing the steal. But a foul then called, and it's going to go against the Chargers. Very aggressive play by Jaden Williams. Well, we've got a couple of Chemics that are hanging around underneath the Chemic basket as Dow thinks they've got a clear path up the court, and it's given them a little bit of trouble so far. One minute to go here in the second quarter. Neither team in foul trouble, neither team in the bonus here in the first half. In fact, Wasco, the only player in foul trouble. Skyler Howard from the elbow. Can't get the shot to go. Wasco will get the rebound for the Chargers. 40 seconds in the quarter. Jenna Query bouncing inside over to Wasco. Wasco, turnaround shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by Madison Berry. I think, I think Wasco got the ball a little further from the basket than she wanted to. 25 seconds on the clock. Sadie DeWilt works the ball over to Jaden Williams. Now a bounce pass. Skyler Howard inside the three-pointer is no good. Rebound by Asia Blayton. 15 seconds to go. Chargers query working to Wasco. Back out to Blayton. Clock down to eight seconds. Blayton drives in. King of the shot to go. Query's putback is no good. Second attempt falls through. Try and try again, Jenna Query eventually able to get the bucket to fall through and the Dow High Chargers will take a nine point lead into the locker room. Both teams had a lot of shots at the basket, uh, but you know, it was an entertaining uh, first half. You had a lot of, lot of defensive pressure, you got the ball moving around, you got a little bit right now of, of some chess playing. You know, just kind of trying to find a, an advantage somewhere. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at uh, <laughs> at this again. You talk about your rebounding. Okay. Here, here we go. Yes, and that that was really an important uh, basket to go to halftime. 
And uh, just to clarify, Tom, <laughs> that is not the Dow High boys team getting ready for the uh, for the next game. Oh, I hope well, not. Maybe not. You got you got to stretch. You you got to you got to limber up. You got you can't you can't go cold anywhere. Okay, it looks like they're. <laughs> I think they're ready to do something, but I don't <laughs> want to be around to see it. <laughs> we are at halftime here at Midland High, having fun bringing you high school basketball here on MPS TV. At halftime, it is the Dow High Chargers twenty six, the Midland High Chemics seventeen. We'll be back with more right after this. And we welcome you back to Midland High High School Basketball on MPS-TV. That's Tom Bell. I'm Jason Harper. And uh, Dow High with a nine-point halftime lead here in girls basketball. And both of these coaches making halftime adjustments. Let's start with Dow High. First-year coach Kyle Tyson has to be, for the most part, pleased with what he saw in the first half. Correct. And I think that he, he's pleased that uh, they continue to push the ball underneath the basket. Uh, they, they've gotten uh, some points from what Wasco, uh, and also they've gotten some points from Ellie Taylor, uh, their, their leading scorer from uh, you know, the outside perimeter. Uh, Wasco's in a little bit of foul trouble. Uh, she's got two. She made it to halftime without getting a third. So as far as her aggressiveness, I think that's not going to be limited a whole lot. But it's, she's really got to watch uh, when she gets her, her third foul. It's yeah. got to be much later in the game. Now the other thing, if you're Kyle Tyson, that you have to be pleased about is the defense that you're playing. The Dow High Chargers have limited Midland High's leading scorer to zero points. Jaden Williams has been unable to get any baskets for the Midland High Chemics, and that has got to be contributed to the Charger defense. Well, and Jaden is used to playing around the basket. And if we noticed uh, in the first half, she was getting the ball out on the, the arc. And uh, she started the game with, uh, with two drives where she traveled. And uh, I think that she's just got to try to find her niche in the second half where she can score some points and maybe even challenge w Wasco underneath the basket. On the other side, the Midland High Kimmicks and Coach Elaine Mahabier, you're down by nine. You've been in this game the entire time, but you've been trailing the entire time. What does Midland High have to do here in the second half? Well, she's got to be pleased with the level of energy and the, the pressure uh, defensively. I think that uh, they've got to cut down on second chance shots. And uh, they've got to hit a couple of threes. We've got Van Sumerans hit one in the first half, but they've got to see a little more uh, scoring production uh, with Van Sumeran and for Williams. Now the Midland High Chemics working the basketball to begin here in the second half, and a foul is going to be called that is going to go against the Dow High Chargers. Neither team got into foul trouble in the first half. Only one player has to be concerned, and with only two fouls, that's not even much of a concern at this point for Roscoe. Inside of Jaden Williams, she runs into the wall known as Roscoe and <laughs> ends up turning the ball over. The Roscoe wall, huh? okay. No, I thought uh, Kay Kaylee played that very, very well, and I think uh, Jaden was just trying to draw some contact inside. Would have changed the complexion of the game, I think, uh, very early in this third quarter. Emily Lyman, three-pointer for the Chargers. No good. Battle for the rebound. Skyler Howard, she's the leading rebounder tonight. Howard to Van Sumeren for a three-pointer. That shot is no good. Battle for the rebound. It's going to be Charger basketball. Well, the Chemics continue to get some pretty good looks, but uh, that three-point shot just hasn't nestled into the basket yet. And it's got to really start, or Dow's just going to start to extend this lead. Now, neither team has scored here in the third quarter. Dow High with the basketball in the corner. Back out to Lyman. Lyman runs that point guard for the Chargers, working it around to Query inside. And the Chargers turn the ball over. Madison Berry all by herself. And Berry able to lay it in off the glass. Five points on the night for Berry. She's just a freshman, and uh, she, she's she got great mobility on the court. Thought about the three, deciding against it is Taylor. Now over to Lyman. Lyman tries to work it inside. 
Asia Blayton works the basketball. Back go to Wasco. Now inside, miscommunication on the part of the Chargers, but Query was able to temporarily get the ball back. Now ahead to Barry, and Barry is going to be blocked. Taylor coming up with a block, and then Van Sumeren with the foul. Some good plays, some bad plays, all on the same play. That's right, and uh, for Taylor, she came within a micro inch of uh, stepping out of bounds down here. I saw the referee kind of squint down at the floor, said, I'm not calling that. We're two minutes into the third quarter. The Dow High Chargers with the lead. Both of these teams coming into this game with only one loss in the Saginaw Valley. Kimmicks with about three steals already, and they're going to call a travel on yeah. Sadie DeWill taking away the bucket. There was an extra step in there. It just didn't look smooth. I think Sadie looked up and saw two players at each shoulder, and she was looking for her spacing with her steps. And Kyle Tyson is going to use his first timeout for the Dow High Chargers with 5.54 to go here in the third quarter. And he's got to be concerned about ball control right now. The, the chemists continue to dive on the floor, and eventually that may make a difference in this game. But currently right now, Dow's been able to kind of a whole court, so to speak, but uh, Dow has got to be able to move the ball without it being deflected. Great crowd here at Midland High watching high school basketball here on MPS TV, and we're glad that you are along as we look inside at Elaine Mahabir and the play that she is diagramming for the Midland High Chemics. On the other side, Kyle Tyson, first-year coach for the Dow High Chargers. He coached the JV before becoming the varsity coach. And as a coach, if there is an advantage with Dow, said uh, Kyle can rely on a couple of senior guards. And that's really, really valuable as the game moves on. But uh, Elaine's got a lot of very talented guards on her, her side, and they've played a lot of basketball in their lives. Dow High, Ellie Taylor over to Lyman. Now back to Bletton. Bletton with a three-pointer. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Jaden Williams. Madison Berry, she's got the hot hand for the Kimmicks, but can't get the shot to go. Howard had the rebound, and she's going to be fouled. And is that Lyman or Wasco? I think it may be Lyman. Reach in foul. It is going to be Lyman. That ends up being called with the foul. The second one. On Lyman. We're in the third quarter, five and a half minutes to go. Skyler Howard. That one was not blocked mm -hmm. by Wasco again. It was, I but think it's that, going to be Midland's ball. That's like four blocks already for Wasco. Well, uh, Howard's supposed to be six foot. That must make Wasco six four. <laughs> well, what is she uh, officially listed as? Six two, I believe. There's the uh, bucket for the Midland High Chemics. Pulling Midland High within five with 5.10 to go. I think that was Williams. I'm not absolutely certain. We'll kind of have to uh, look at that later. Dow High working the ball around the end for the Dow High Chargers. Asia working the ball back to the top of the key to Emily Lyman. Lyman not being guarded closely. Now thinking about the three with Blayton. She gets by Barry briefly, and then Blayton with a long two-pointer. Asia Blayton's got four points, and the Dow High Chargers, every time the Kimmicks get a bucket, the Chargers answering the call. Jaden Williams, jump shot, no good. Battle for the rebound, and it was off the fingertips of Blayton. She knew it. She wasn't happy, and the Kimmicks will have it underneath their own basket. Now, we're noticing that uh, these girls are fighting through every screen. They're just trying to put pressure wherever they can. As they know, each player very, very well. They've grown up with them for years. The handoff, Sadie DeWilt working the ball to Jaden Williams. Williams working over to Van Sumer and tried to go inside, but Jenna Query knocking that ball out of bounds for the Chargers. 
Well, the Chemex continue to want to just shove the ball down low. I think that they're, they're looking to maybe get to the line, get some foul trouble. It's to their advantage. Inbound pass for the Midland High Chemex. Going into the paint, and a foul's going to send Skyler Howard to the free throw line. And I think that was Query. And I believe you're right. Query is going to pick up the foul. Third team foul against the Chargers. Skyler Howard on the free throw line. Does not get the friendly bounce. Howard six feet tall. She was a flying G a year ago. Now she's a Kimmick. She may win the honor of going through high school with the two strangest mascots. <laughs> she's had both of them. A flying G and a Kemek, huh? Okay. What is a flying G? What's a Kemek? Uh, okay. Chemical. Three-pointer, count it for Ellie Taylor. The sophomore hits the three-pointer, her second three-pointer of the game, and the Chargers back to having their biggest lead, a nine-point advantage with three and a half to go here in the third. Counted for Midland, Sadie DeWilt, the sophomore, her second basket of the game for the Kimmix. Well, after a lot of missed shots, uh, both teams uh, uh, hit two clean ones. Ellie Taylor working for the Chargers. Now over to Lyman. Lyman gives it back to Taylor. Lyman and Taylor trying to do something with this Midland High zone here in the third quarter. Working it over to Lyman who had switched directions. Taylor is all by herself. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound by Howard. Howard going across midcourt. Hesitated and then can't fire the shot up correctly and the Dow High Chargers with the rebound. Well, again, we don't have tallies for rebounds up here, but I think Howard is closing in on, on 10. She's been impressive getting the boards for the Midland High Chemex. Asia Blayton, good read, goes by the Chemex and able to lay it in with the layup. A nice read by the former Carmen Ainsworth player, now proudly wearing the green and gold of the Chargers. 33-24. Our score in favor of Dow. And Dow's really putting pressure on the outside of the arc. And Roscoe just picked up a foul. Still not uh, entirely a bad situation because that is only the third, but as far away from the basket as Roscoe was, that is not the foul you wanted. That is not the place you really want to see her draw her third. I think that uh, both Kay Kaylee and her coach are are not real happy with, with Kaylee right now. But, uh, you know, uh, she, she is uh, in the game to uh, try to stop Midland's offense, and those things do happen. Alexi, Alexi Flaminio checks in for the Dow High Chargers, and Midland counters by bringing Abby Frazier back into the game. Both of those players coming off the bench and do very well for their respective teams. And Frazier came off the bench and uh, nailed a three, and she was only on the court about six seconds. Three-pointer for Jaden Williams. That shot is short. Howard another rebound. That put back is no good, and out of bounds will be Dow High basketball. 1.42 to go here in the third quarter. Skyler Howard controlling the rebounds, but having a hard time getting any uh, baskets for the Midland High gimmicks. Well, it gets a little tight inside, you know, and uh, she's playing uh, against Dow for the first time. And a lot of these sophomores have played against Dow a number of times last year. Wide open for the three-pointer, count it. Alexi Flaminio, she is a junior from that top of the key for the Dow High Chargers. And Elaine Mahabier is going to call a timeout with a minute 14 to go here in the third quarter, the Chargers have their biggest lead up by 12 here at Midland High. You know, and as much as you put pressure defensively, once you let up and let a good outside shooter set their feet, uh, it can kill that, that whole effort, that whole 10 or 12 seconds on defense. You leave someone open on the, on the top of the key. 
and they start to get comfortable. The basket seems to get much bigger. I think this is a good timeout for the Midland High Chemex because it's uh, decision time here. Okay. You don't want to just get ahead. Let's take a look at the replay, and Tom. And she's got it, and she's not challenged at all. Look at uh, Midland High just back away. Look at the space. 12 feet from, from her gives her all the time to look without worrying about a, a block shot or any kind of defense. They've got to have somebody running to the shot. Very important part of this contest, the Dow Hyde Chargers, a couple more baskets, and they begin pulling away. The Midland High Kimmicks need to come up with a couple of baskets and a couple of defensive stops in order to erase the uh, double-digit deficit. Yeah, and as the game goes on, 12 points become quite a big lead until Midland starts to hit some threes. After the timeout, the Midland High Kimmicks working the basketball across the midcourt. Jaden Williams working the ball for the Kimmicks. Williams tried to take the read, and she did force a foul. Query's going to pick up the foul. Could so that be her third? It may be. It is the fifth team foul. Dow High, five team fouls. The Kimmicks with only one. And it is the third, actually it's not up there yet. Uh, I believe it is the third that was against Query. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Couple of dribbles. Sadie DeWelt trying to reset the play for the Midland High Kimmicks. 40 seconds to go into the paint. Unable to get the shot to go with Frazier. Loose ball, everybody fighting for it. The Chargers come away with it. 30 seconds to go. Take it to the hole, no problem for Flaminio, the junior, able to lay it in for the Dow High Chargers. Dow High increasing their lead. She's got nine coming off the bench for the Chargers. By the way, that last foul on Query, only the second foul second. Okay. on Query. 10 seconds to go here in the third quarter. DeWilt works the ball to Jaden Williams. Williams forces up the shot, draws the foul. That is something that Williams does nicely. She's not afraid of uh, the contact. She's not afraid of the physicality. And Jaden Williams able to force it in and make a trip to the free throw line. She certainly wants to, uh, to really challenge the defense. And Midland just needs to get a little more on board, on the board before uh, the end of this third quarter. Williams, just a sophomore on this young Midland High Kimmick team. She Jayden. plays a lot of center, but uh, she really gives up some height at that position. Doesn't get the second free throw to fall in the third quarter. Is going to come to an end with the Dow High Chargers beginning to pull away here on the road. Dow High 38, Midland High 25. We've got eight minutes to go here at Midland High in this MPS Saginaw Valley Basketball Contest. And this game being produced for MPS by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you would like to become an MCTV volunteer so you can work on basketball games or studio shows or uh, whatever interest you may have, the next orientation will be on Valentine's Day, Saturday, February 14th. It takes place at 10 o'clock in the morning. The cost is $45.00. For more information, call that phone number, 837-3474. You can also head online to cityofmidlandmi.gov slash mctv. Also, check us out on Facebook. Do whatever it takes. Become an MCTV volunteer. Next orientation on Valentine's Day. We'll have you out of there by uh, afternoon, and uh, you still got plenty of time to do whatever uh, Valentine's Day is a plan. Let's take a look. Dow High Chargers and the way that they uh, work the basketball. Okay, and, and we are w w watching, uh, I think that's Lyman, uh, end up challenging, driving the lane, putting the ball up, and uh, someone's just got to stand in the lane. Oh, well, was that for yes. many? Okay, and, uh, but Midland High's got to challenge that better. They just can't let Dow uh, just drive the lane. Been a recurring theme that we have had. Dow High Chargers reading very well. Jaden Williams, nice aggressive play, forcing the jump ball. Midland High will have the possession. 
I think that may be something that the Kimmicks want to do. They've only got one foul, so Midland High does not have to worry about uh, being in foul trouble, and they may pick up that uh, intensity a little bit, trying to come up with some steals, being a little more aggressive. But I still think they're going to want to spread them out, too. Skyler Howard, count it. Howard able to lay it off the glass. And that's nine. She's close to a double-double, I believe. I think she's got maybe 11 or 12 rebounds and nine points. A great game. She's looked good on the board, no doubt about that. Williams almost had a steal. Chargers working it inside, double-teaming, so they go back out to the down high Chargers. Lyman on the far side. And we've got a timeout called by Kyle Tyson. Second timeout called by Tyson with 7.09 to go. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. 38-27 in favor of the Chargers. And you take a look at Tyson talking to the, uh, the Dow High players. And what are, you, uh, what are you talking about trying to keep the Chargers getting? There, there we can see just how many points okay. uh, they have, right? <laughs> Uh, oh. Well, my eyes aren't quite that good. Now, what, what Kyle's doing, he's seeing Midland uh, really putting a lot of pressure further away from the basket. That's going to give Dow maybe a few better opportunities underneath the basket. And his guards at that point had a shoulder or their back to the girls who are in under the, underneath the basket. Nothing was happening. Great timeout for Dow. And they start after the timeout, tried to work it inside. Now they... Go back out. Chargers will look to set up a play. The Kimmicks into a man-to-man -man -man offense. Ellie Taylor with the ball for the Chargers. Uh, Midland's got to make sure that she doesn't get a good look at the basket. Nadia Atten did have a good look, but couldn't get the shot to go. And a, a jump ball's going to be called. Jaden Williams believe that she may have been fouled, but that is not what was called, so the Chargers will have the possession arrow in their favor. Well, I think they say even though you fall to the ground, it doesn't mean you were fouled. Wide open Oops. on the inbound pass. There's a Kaylee Wasco, the sophomore, and she's got eight points on the game for the Chargers. 13-point lead for Dow, and another block. That's five for Roscoe, and uh, Roscoe's one of those players, she's just a sophomore, but she has uh, drawn a little bit of interest from uh, various schools at the, the next level, so she's got, she's got some scouts that have been watching her throughout the season. Well, and as a sophomore, those schools have to be kind of careful uh, how they communicate, because uh, she still is a ways away from her senior year, but uh, yeah, she's a good player. Ellie Taylor works the ball around. Wasco open, count it. Kaylee Wasco with the bucket for the Chargers and Dow High beginning to pull away. This is what Midland High did not want to happen. With six minutes to go, the Chargers, their lead getting more comfortable and there's a block by Ellie Taylor. I think Midland's starting to get a little predictable and they've got to work the ball around the outside. We've got uh, with the Wilt, she's a great player, but uh, she's uh, very predictable right now. And Wasco and Taylor both measured out both block shots. Midland High, Alex Van Sumeren working the basketball for the Chemex. Now to Sadie D. Wilt. Chemex seem a little disorganized right now. And, and they're going to call a timeout at. Uh, get that organization <laughs> fixed. This is the uh, fourth timeout, so the Kimmicks will be down to one after this timeout. There you see 5.39 to go. 42 to 27 in favor of the Dow High Chargers. And if you are just tuning in to this uh, girls contest and you want to check out what happened beforehand, be sure to tune in on Thursday and Friday, January 29th and 30th. The boys game Begins at 8 o'clock, the girls game following that, so be sure to check out the boys and the girls, both games from Midland High here. And uh, let's take a look at the Dow High Chargers. Okay, at that point we got Wasco getting a chance to set her feet. And being 6'2", 
you know, as far as the center is concerned, defensively for Midland, you're underneath the basket. Wasco kind of faded out and uh, had a really good look, and she's got a really good follow-through. And we've seen the Dow High Chargers do a good job of reading when the Kimmicks fall back on defense or they lose track of uh, of somebody, Dow does not hesitate with that wide open shot. Yeah, uh, Midland's got to do a better job at picking up uh, not only their player, but being able to see someone else that has a open shot underneath the basket, or in that case on a wing. Jaden Williams passing inside for the Midland High Chemics. Now it works back out for Midland. Van Sumeren gets her own rebound, can't get the second shot to go, and Dow High will get the ball. Last touched by Williams. 42 to 27, the Dow High Chargers with the lead. Kemmicks with the first full court press, and Dow High no problem beating that. Query doesn't go up for the shot. Instead, she works it back out. No problem taking the shot for Asia Blayton, the sophomore with the three-pointer, and the Chargers increasing their lead. Blayton's got eight points on the game. And this game, surprisingly, is spread out. Never would have guessed this earlier in the game. Jaden Williams, she's been very quiet on the offensive side of things in this game. And a travel call against Blayton. Dow's just not finding points currently. They've got two points here in, the, in this uh, fourth quarter. And Dow has got seven. So uh, what needed to be a comeback has just stretched the lead. I can't get over looking at those guys in the corner. God, they've got awful legs. <laughs> Midland High with the basketball, working out to Jaden Williams. Three-point shot is no good. Asia able to get the rebound. Asia Blayton for the Dow High Chargers. And Dow High throws the ball away. I do apologize if I'm saying it wrong. It, it could be Blanton. I'm not sure. I think it is Blanton. Do you? Yes. Okay. There's, rhyme, rhyme there's, there's a look at the, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, the, the, there's the guys. I mean, they're kind of showing off the knee socks and uh, the hairy legs. Old My school. God. They're going old school. We've got a official's timeout. Apparently uh, something going on at the scorer's table. So maybe the last foul. Don't know. Whatever it was at the scorer's table, it's been taken care of. So play resumes with 4.10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Could have been a clock issue. Laying it in from the free throw line, Sadie DeWilt. Six points on the game for DeWilt. Now we're seeing Midland's press again, but I haven't seen it much since the opening tip of the game. And it worked that time. Midland High looking ahead at Jaden Williams. Williams stumbled a little bit. No foul caught. I think she just lost her balance. And Dow High's got somebody all by herself. Kaylee Wasco, nobody around. And Wasco able to lay it in for the Chargers. And Wasco has a dozen. 47-29, three and a half minutes to go. That was a significant turnaround. You had Williams with a layup, and you had Wasco hitting the layup. And now we've got a foul called against the Chargers. It'll be a one and one situation, sending Jaden Williams to the free throw line. Midland High only has one foul against them, so nobody on the Kimmick side is in foul trouble. Do you try to foul if you're Midland High and stop the clock as much as possible? You really, you know, you've got to uh, look at, uh, yeah, I think you, you do have to foul, but uh, I don't know. This game is starting to really get out of hand. And uh, with only one personal foul, that's an indication that they're not being aggressive enough on defense. Jaden Williams gets both of the free throws to fall through. Dow High quickly down with Ellie Taylor trying to get by Van Sumeren, but can't do it. Blanton now works the ball back over to Lyman. Lyman, a couple of dribbles, goes back to Query. Query being guarded by Williams, back to Blanton, and Kyle Tyson is going to call a timeout for the Chargers. 
Three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Dow High 47, Midland High 31. The Kimmicks are in the bonus, so they'll go to the free throw line whenever they are fouled. Possession arrow is in favor of the Midland High Kimmicks with the timeout situation. The Dow High Chargers have two timeouts or three timeouts remaining. Midland High has one timeout. Well, right now, Midland High has to full court press. They just have to really push it. It might be that Dow just extends the lead if they're smart with their passing. But Midland has got to force Dow into some mistakes. Dow's turnovers in the second half are way down. Uh, they've really been much smarter with the ball, and they've got some uh, inside points and outside points. And with three minutes and two seconds to go, we've seen a lot of comebacks by Midland High at the end of the game, but they're running out of time. They've got, uh, they're down by 16 with three minutes to go. It can be done, but uh, they're running out of time. They've got to force some things to happen. And one is maybe they've got to get into the line so the Dow High doesn't burn clock. Yeah, I'm really surprised Midland High is not committing more fouls. It's not the most exciting style of basketball, but with five fouls to give, I'm somewhat surprised Kimmicks are not uh, forcing the clock to stop. And it's true, if they foul, Dow goes to the line for a one and one, but uh, they've got to keep things going. Dow High working the ball. And it was tipped, so no over and back. Good call by the officials. Dow High's Lyman working the ball for the Chargers. Lyman now switching directions, trying to find some place to go with the basketball. Now giving it over to Taylor, and finally a foul committed with two minutes to go. But Dow High burning a lot of time. In fact, they burned over a minute off of the clock before Van Sumeren committed a foul. That's really, that, that's going to hurt Midland High. They just, uh, they've got to score points quickly. Kyle yeah. Tyson calls a, a timeout. Tara Gross, by the way, has checked in for Midland High. I think her job is going to be to uh, rack up the fouls as quickly as possible. And I think that is what Tyson is preparing the Chargers for. 2.01 on the clock. Dow High 47, Midland High 31. Our second of two basketball games that have aired here on MPS TV this weekend. If you want to catch the replays, the boys game airing at 8 o'clock in the evening. The girls game airing at 10 o'clock. And there you see the great camera duo. Jim Malek on your left, John Walters on your right, two of the longtime volunteers, and uh, they are one of the main reasons, they are the main reason that uh, sports staying alive here on MPS TV. Those two individuals volunteering hundreds of hours bringing you high school athletics to the airwaves. They do such a great job in focusing on what's important at that time. Uh, yeah, my, my hat's off to them. Every single night they work. Dow High with the basketball and Midland High still not following. And the Dow High Chargers trying to burn off as much time as possible. Jaden Williams with a reach-in foul. Still three fouls to give. And Dow's doing a nice job in just burning the clock. And uh, a while ago I was incorrect. Uh, Dow not going to be in the one and one. And uh, Kaylee Wasco wide open. You burn off uh, almost uh, a minute and a half off the clock, and then you end up with a basket. Everything going the way the Chargers wanted to go. Skyler Howard unable to miss the bunny underneath, and then a frustration reaching foul against the Chemex. Now the Dow High fans are uh, beginning the celebration because we've got 90 seconds to go. And and Midland's uh, offense just has gone away in the second half. They've, they've lost the, the, the confidence. They've just not dropped the shots. And Dow's been pretty good passing-wise. And again, hit shots inside, hit shots outside. 
Foul is going to be called against Sadie D. Wilt. That is the last one the Chargers have to, or the Kimmicks have to give. 18 point down high lead. Chargers pulling away here in the second half to pick up a big Saginaw Valley victory. Dow High, Wasco with the ball, and Kyle Tyson is going to call a timeout. Wasco had no place to go, so that's why the timeout was called. Each team does have one timeout remaining, and as you look at the score, the Dow High Chargers uh, will be in second place in the Saginaw Valley after this game. Both of these teams chasing Saginaw Heritage. Both of these teams uh, only have one loss coming into this game, and that was to Heritage, a, a team that by all indications should run away with the uh, Saginaw Valley North title. When, when talking to uh, Coach Tyson and Coach Mahabir, they both agree that Heritage this year is the team to beat that really their role right now is get their team prepared for the tournaments, but just try to finish the season second in the Valley because first seems to be in control of Heritage. Well, these two teams will be meeting again on uh, Valentine's weekend that Friday night, uh, February the 13th. Friday the 13th will be the next matchup. That will be over at Dow High, and then uh, there's a, always a chance these two teams will meet in the districts as well. The districts will start March 1st at Dow High. And uh, the I believe the Chargers drew Mount Pleasant and Midland drew Bay City Central in the opening round. But that is uh, a long ways away and not in the mind of uh, anybody right now. The district's over a month away. And both teams have a lot of work to do. Three-pointers no good. Battle for the rebound. Query will win it and a jump ball is going to be called possession favoring the Chargers. Under a minute to go in this Saginaw Valley contest. Yeah, Dow's look very impressive in the second half. And Midland just hasn't found a, a consistent way to put the ball in the basket. Lyman being double teamed, and it's going to be stripped away by Sadie D. Wilt, who goes ahead to Jaden Williams, and the ball goes out of bounds. Midland High will keep possession. A little bit of contact, but uh, no foul called. I would agree. Howard into the paint. That time a foul was called. Okay. Well, it threw off the shot at that point. But, you know, it threw off Jaden's shot on the drive. But, uh, yeah, right now uh, we're just uh, we're working down the clock and just trying to make sure that people make good decisions the rest of the way. Skyler Howard getting the free throw to fall. That, by the way, was the fourth foul on Wasco. Wasco did a very nice job. She picked up, uh, got into foul trouble early in the game, and she did a nice job of playing the majority of the contest in foul trouble. She managed her fouls and Howard. still got some block shots. Second shot is no good. Another jump ball. Uh, Skyler Howard, by the way, does have a double-double in this game. She's got to be the uh, one bright spot for the Midland High Chemics tonight. Yeah, she played well. Howard has the ball in the paint. That shot doesn't fall through. Rebound by Williams. Van Sumeren, her shot falls through with about 20 seconds to go. Five points for Van Sumeren and a quick foul. Not really sure uh, with 20 seconds to go. You didn't foul to stop the clock with about three minutes to play and now down by a bundle with 20 seconds to go, you foul. I don't have an answer for that. I, I, I really don't. I, I, other than, you know, it's uh, nerves, whatever. I think that you've been uh, competitive the whole night long. You had a chance to try to steal the ball. Of the first half of the one and one, no good for linemen. Jaden Williams, three pointer for the Chemics, count it. Midland High making uh, some shots here in the final 30 seconds. Maybe too little, too late. Williams has got eight points. The final seconds running off the clock here at Midland High. And that is going to be the ball game. Count the victory for the Dow High Chargers who are going to come away with a 12-point win. 
on the road here at Midland High. The Dow High Chargers smiles on those faces as the Chargers shake hands at the conclusion of the contest. And uh, Tom, the Dow High Chargers coming in and doing exactly what they needed to do. A well-executed game plan and uh, several Chargers playing well tonight. Yeah, for the Chargers, uh, we knew that they were going to be tough inside. We had Wasco with 16, uh, Flaminio with nine, Blanton. Okay, Blanton had a dozen. She had nine, and Taylor had nine. With that kind of balance, uh, Dow's going to win on most nights. For Midland High, they had Howard with 10. They had Williams with eight. And we had nobody else that was significant enough to make a big difference tonight. Now you talk about that balanced offense of the Dow High Chargers, and that's exactly what, what we saw for Dow High. They had several people scored, several people contributing, and this is a Dow High team to kind of keep an eye for. They're, they're young, and uh, you know we're only about a little more than halfway through the season. Same thing can be told for Midland High. The Kimmicks did not have the offensive attack tonight that they need in the Saginaw Valley, but still, this is a, a young Kimmick team that played... Uh, played well defensively for the most part. And during the middle section of the game, the the outside shot uh, just uh, was not there for the Kemics. And I think that Dow uh, had those two seniors on the court most of the game. And that's a settling factor in that, that regard. At Midland High, they got into that third quarter and all of a sudden the pressure by Dow, they lost their focus on offense. They just couldn't find it. Kaylee Wasco working very hard for the Dow High Chargers. May have been Dow's player of the game. And uh, over on the other side for the Midland High, Kimmick, Skyler Howard playing very well with a double-double for the Kimmicks. The Dow High Chargers improving to 9-2 and two with the victory. They are now 7-1 and one in the Saginaw Valley. The Midland High Kimmicks dropping down to 9-3. and three. They are 7-2 and two in the Saginaw Valley. Tom, your final thoughts on uh, this girls' contest. Well, there's still a long way to the tournaments, but uh, Dow seemed to really settle themselves down and just took off. Midland's got to find a way to score against the top opponents. A strong second half for the Dow High Chargers, and they pull away for the victory. We thank you for joining us for high school basketball here on MPS-TV. The final score tonight, the Dow High Chargers 49, the Midland High Kimmicks 37. Good night, everyone. Dow High, Josie Query is going to end up trying to run off time, and Jeff Walter looking to pick the pocket, and it was off of Query, so the Kimmicks will get the basketball. That was interesting, and they, both players pretty much agree with that. I, I'm surprised. I didn't see it quite that way, but. And now Bob Wellman is going to uh, call a timeout. I actually thought that it was a good call that uh, it was off of uh, Query. So as a okay. result, it is going to be Midland High basketball. We've got a timeout on the floor with 2.36 to play in the game. Dow High leading by seven. Now, if you take a look at Bob Wellman talking to the Dow High Chargers, if you're just tuning in and you want to watch this event in its entirety, the airtime for this contest will be Thursday, January 31st through Tuesday, February 5th, showing it at 2.30 in the afternoon and 10 o'clock in the evening every day between Thursday and Tuesday. For more dates and times, be sure to check out the Midland Daily News uh, newspaper on Sunday or check out the Midland Public Schools website. And this game is also going to uh, be streamed on the MPS website. And not only can you check it out on Channel 98, but we're also digital 
on Channel 993. So a lot of chances to watch what has been a great game between two top Saginaw Valley programs. You know, as I watch Dow, this is the first time I've had an opportunity this year to watch them. And they are resilient and uh, they've got character. They, they were way, way down and they fought their way back. Uh, I'm impressed. Two and a half minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Jeff Walter working the basketball for the Midland High Chemex, and we're gonna have a foul called away from the ball, and I think, uh, I think they may have got Josie Query. No, they didn't. They ended up calling Heather Durstein for the foul. Bob Wellman wants an explanation, but it'll result in a one and one, and it will send Lily Hame to the free throw line. Hami hitting the first half of the one and one. Lily Hami <laughs> so far in this game relatively quiet in the second quarter but the free throws may be what the Midland High Chemics need. It's a five point game with 2.15 to play. Dow High leading by five. Chargers working to Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp working over to O'Neill. Chargers around the perimeter trying to run some time off the clock. Chargers are in the bonus, so any foul by Midland High will send them to the free throw line. So far, the Chemics are not fouling. We're under two minutes to play. Query working back. Wet camp now with the ball. How long do you wait before you start to foul? Now they drive in. Josie Query will go to the free throw line. That's not the foul that you wanted. And Query will be on the line. Well, uh, they, they ran Query off the screen, and uh, Hami had to hurry up and, and cover because uh, Query uh, lo lost her defensive player and uh, just got there a tad late. Three fouls on Hami, and Josie Query getting the free throw to fall through. Query has 22 points tonight. A great contest for Josie Query, and she hits both free throws, making it a seven-point lead for the Dow High Chargers, 144 to play. Lily Hami with the ball for the Midland High Chemex. Hami driving in, and a blocking foul will be called. Had to wait to find out if it was a block or a charge. Bruce Moore says it was a block, and Lily Hami will go to the free throw line. Well, for Midland, uh, they don't mind uh, putting points on the board uh, with no time off the clock. Lily Hami able to get the free throw to fall. The timeout situation. Midland High has three timeouts remaining. The Dow High Chargers have one timeout remaining. And now they have uh, clarified who that foul was on. They originally gave it to Kaylee Wetcamp, but now they have switched it to Josie Query, which is the third one on her. Lily Hami hitting both free throws for Midland High. 49-44, back to a five-point game, 90 seconds to play. Christine Muscle with the ball. Muscle working it over to O'Neill. O'Neill trying to find somebody open and finds Josie Query. Walter trying to guard Query. Walter cannot foul, and she did. Not the, not the Kimmick that you wanted to foul, but Jeff Walter ended up making contact, and it will be a one and one. That is the fourth foul now on Walter, and Josie Query goes to the free throw line. Well, they give you five, so uh, it doesn't matter where you get your fourth one. Just protect yourself and stay on the court after that. A rare free throw miss, and the ball is loose on the ground. Everybody fighting for it, and the jump ball will be called. Possession arrow in favor of Midland. Great hustle by both Autumn Enzer, who checked into the game, and Kaylee Wetcamp. Great hustle from both of those players. Midland will inbound, but now the possession arrow becomes Dow's friend. Double teaming, Walter working her way through. Walter feeding to Westfall, and Westfall will be fouled. 
This will benefit the Chemex, getting points with the clock stop. Yeah, it does, but uh, Dow has been real patient when they've gotten on the offensive side, and it's time that uh, Midland's going to have to follow. That foul on Aaron O'Neill is the fourth one on O'Neill. There are several players playing with four fouls. The first free throw is successful for Midland High's uh, Alyssa Westfall and Elaine Mahabir will call a timeout with 1.06 to play in what is now a four point contest, 49-45. You take a look at the great crowd that has filed in here to Midland High to watch this varsity basketball contest. We got a great crowd tonight for this girls basketball game. But Westfall's free throw is really important because if she makes it, Midland has a chance to set the press. Otherwise, they're in transition and they can burn off some more clock. Be very interesting to see what both coaches end up coming up with here in the final minute of play. We anticipated uh, a great game and that is what we are getting. The Chargers battling to stay undefeated. The Midland High Chemex coming in with only three losses and those were uh, very tough losses. In fact, uh, you know, only one may have been one that, uh, that should have been or could have been. The other losses for the Midland High Chemex, very close games, very strong games. These are two quality programs. They are, and there's a lot of great talent coming up through the ranks. One free throw shot remaining for Alyssa Westfall. The junior, in fact, only three seniors on this Midland High team. And the free throw is no good. Battle for the rebound. Jump ball will be called. Possession down. Not much time coming off the clock. We're down to a minute four. Midland High putting on the pressure. It's a four point game with 64 seconds to play. Christine Muscle with the ball. Now the Kimmicks will drop back. Muscle trying to get across midcourt and does. Now working to Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp to Muscle quickly. Now works it over to Durstein. Durstein finding O'Neill. Quickly over to Wetcamp. Chargers running off as much time as possible. How long do you wait before you foul? Inser, and now Autumn Inser finally fouls. But with the clock down to 39 seconds, did the Kimmicks wait too long? There's still uh, basically 40 seconds to go in the game. You can, there's still uh, maybe uh, five or six different possessions, uh, depending on how quickly they choose to shoot. But um, no, but they had to have Enzer make the foul. Yeah, Enzer picks up her third, but she's not in foul trouble at all. First free throw was no good. Josie Query could not miss at one point. Now she's missed her last two free throws. Make it her last three, and the rebound pulled down by Midland, knocked away by Dow, but the Chemex will get the ball back. And I think this is smart, Dow putting a lot of pressure on Walter, but they're not getting any help. There we go. We got Hami with the ball now. But Lily Hami picking up her dribble. Elaine Mahabir got the timeout before the ball was knocked away. Mahabir calls the timeout, and the clock will stop with 33 seconds to play. It is a four-point game between these two teams, and each team now down to one timeout remaining. You know, I thought I saw Katie Ortega uh, before the game. She was not dressed for the game, and she was a guard for Midland High last year through the tournaments. And uh, although she came off the bench, uh, she hasn't played tonight. I don't think she's physically ready yet. But they could really use that extra guard to bring the ball up against this pressure. The possession arrow is in favor of Midland. The scoreboard in favor of the Chargers. Four point game, 33 seconds to play. One timeout remains for both teams. Lily Hami will inbound the ball for the Midland High Kemets. She does over to Walter. Walter dribbles towards the baseline. Walter with a great spin in traffic. Walter can't get the shot to go. Christine Muscle with the rebound to the Chargers. Now the Kimmicks need to foul, but Dow High passing the ball back and forth. They get it across the timeline. 
Jeff Walker forced a foul, and that is going to be the fifth foul on Walker. You know, at that point, you do have to stop the clock. Uh, it's just too bad that we didn't have some other player closer to the play than Jeff Walter. Jeff Walter will foul out with 17 seconds to play in the contest. Jeff Walter finishing with 22 five. points. Five. Five, five points. And Josie Query hitting the free throw. That's what I get for trying to read your hand right now. I know, I know. Josie Query hitting one of two this time down the line, but it's a five-point game with only 15 seconds to play. Autumn Inser with the ball. All the Chargers have to do right now is hold on to the basketball. The final seconds ticking off of the clock, and the Dow High Chargers are going to go to 15-0 on the season. The Dow High Chargers remain undefeated as they pick up a five-point win over the Midland High Chemics, 50 to 45 in the uh, Cinderella story or the fairy book story for the Dow High Chargers continuing as they are now 15 and 0 on the season. The Dow High Chargers led by Josie Cleary with 23 points in the contest. Kayla Wetkamp finished with 10. Heather Durstein with a strong second half finishing with nine points. For Midland High, their leading scorer was Lily Hami, finishing with 22. Alyssa Westfall had 10 points, most of those early in the game. The Dow High Chargers, at one time, they were down by almost 20 points. And Tom, the Dow High Chargers coming from behind, and they remain undefeated. It was a game of character and momentum swings. Absolutely, and the momentum swing ended with Dow High. Bob Wellman celebrating birthday number 43 by remaining undefeated in the Saginaw Valley and in the season. For our entire MPF and MCTV crew and for my broadcast partner Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. Our final score in girls varsity basketball, Dow High 50, Midland 45. Good night everyone.